Maintenance mode in WordPress is very helpful in showing visitors a message instead of displaying a broken page or a confusing website. This will allow you to create a full customized page to notify visitors when they can return, to sign up to your newsletter for notifications, show them other links, and much more. It also means you can hide your new WooCommerce store from visitors while safely performing any maintenance tasks. We'll be using Seedprod, and Seedprod is the best drag and drop WordPress website builder. You can join over 1 million plus professionals who use Seedprod to create custom WordPress themes and page layouts with oat coding. Let's get started. So right now I just have a default installation of Seedprod, and this is local on my computer. I set up a shop, so we have the default theme on the main page, but we also set up WooCommerce. This is just the default installation. And then I imported some test products here. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to be able to show the rest of your website, but we're going to hide all of the pages into maintenance mode that have to do with your shop. So that includes your shop page, your checkout, your account, and your product pages. This way you can work on your WooCommerce store while the rest of your website is actually still active. The first thing we want to do though is get Seedprod installed. So head over to seedprod.com or click the link in the description below. You're going to click on get Seedprod now. And once you have an account, we're going to click on login. I'm going to be using the pro version for this video. For your account, enter your email address and password on the left hand side and we'll click on login. Once you're logged into your account, we're going to click on the second tab from the left here called downloads. Next on this screen, we're going to click the big button here to download Seedprod Pro. And we also need the license key here in the bottom left hand corner. You can click the little icon there to copy that. Let's go ahead. We can close this tab for now. We're going to come back to the dashboard of WordPress. We can actually close these other pages here for now as well. On the left hand side here, we're going to come to plugins and add new. This will allow us to upload the Seedprod zip file that we just downloaded. We're going to click on upload plugin up here at the top. And you're going to click on choose file and you're going to select the zip file that we downloaded. It's probably in your downloads folder, but unless you change that to something else. If you're using the same browser as I am, you can actually click and drag this and drop it right here. Now you can click on install now and let's click on the button to activate the plugin. Great. Let's go ahead and paste that license key right here and we're going to verify key and you should see a green success message. If you're using the same or similar browser, I'm going to close this tab at the bottom. You can do so as well. Right now on the left hand side, we have landing pages and theme builder. These are the two main pieces of Seedprod currently. So landing pages, you can create your standalone landing pages for email newsletters and certain call to actions for your marketing campaigns. And then we have theme builder, which you can actually create complete WordPress themes from scratch. That includes WooCommerce stores as well. We're going to go into the landing pages section here. So let's click on this and we have these extra modes. So we have coming soon mode, maintenance mode. This is what we're going to be using today. Login page and 404 page. You can also create your landing pages here at the bottom. So what we're going to do is click on set up a maintenance mode page right here. Next, Seepro is going to ask you to choose a new page template and it's actually sorted these for you by default into the maintenance mode. So we have a filter here. So if you click on all, this will show you all of the page templates templates that come with Seedprod for all of the different types of landing pages. Since we're focusing on maintenance mode, it filters it by maintenance mode. And now you can pick a pre-made one here, or if you wish, you can create one from scratch with the blank template here. I'm going to come down and we'll just select this one right here. This is called food maintenance mode. So this would be great if you have a restaurant or some type of shop to do with food. But of course, there's different themes here. You can also use this and just change the images to whatever you wish that makes sense for your store. So here now it opens up into the Seedprod page builder. On the right side, we can see the page that it just imported. So we have the sections are purple. We have the rows, which are blue and the columns are blue as well inside those rows. And then we have the blocks and the blocks can be found here on the left hand side in the block section. Now the blocks are all of the pieces of your page. So if we want a headline, for example, we can drag that in and now we have a headline. You can click on the block settings here to modify that on the left hand side. And these little icons up here have different functionality. So you can duplicate this if you wish, or you can delete this if you like. Let's go ahead and delete these. So let's actually go ahead and customize our maintenance mode page here. The biggest impact right now is that background photo. And this is actually set in the global settings here in the bottom left hand corner. I'm going to click on this and here we can change our global fonts, our colors, our background and some custom CSS. So for example, for the fonts, we have our header font and body text font. If you don't want to select one of these by yourself and go through them, we have the font themes that you can select these pairs. So right here, maybe you like this one, you can see that this was updated instantly. Next, we can come down to the colors and you can modify these if you wish. I'm going to actually skip this and go to the background and we have this background picture here. So I'm going to delete this and now it has no picture. You can upload your own here if you want to use a different one or use a stock image. So here I can search for an image. So here I typed in surfing. Maybe we could do a body shop and surfing type of shop. So let's click on this. And here we have the background position right now. You can see it's aligned in the middle here. We can actually change this. We could do a full screen cover and that'll go the full width there for you. Great. Now that that's done, you can 
can come back and now you can change your colors if you wish. Now you can change them depending on the background colors and make them different. So the global fonts will edit your headers, text, buttons, links, and background. But you can also click on individual blocks as well. So these are set to gray, it looks like. So we'll actually just click on the block settings for these and come under advanced. And you can see that this was set to gray manually on that block itself. You want to change this to something else maybe. I'll just change these to white and then we can come back to the global colors. And I kind of wanted to change the button here. Similar to the fonts, we also have color palettes. So instead of coming up with your own, you could click on one of these combinations to instantly import that color theme. So for example, if you like this orange one, you can click and see that everything was updated. So the text will change to white here and our headers will change to white and the orange is fine. Everything else looks good. Now, if you click on an image here or any of the blocks, you can change these. So here's the logo. You could delete that and upload your own logo. We have under construction, so you could change the text on this. You could bold it. You can italicize it. You can do whatever you wish with that. You can also align the text. You can change the font size. So maybe we'll make this a little bit bigger. And we have advanced here. So here we have topography, color. Again, you can change this on a block level instead of using the global. Maybe I'll make that one black. And then we have the next text here. Maybe I'll make this a little bigger as well. And there we go. I'm going to delete this button here and let's actually add a new block. I'm going to type in the countdown and maybe you can put a timer here on when your page is going to go back live. Here I'll align this to the left hand side so everything's aligned left. And here you can select your end date. So I'll just pick a random date here and a time. You can see that there's a countdown for this page. You also have your time zone as well. Here you have the size of it. So if you want small or large, we'll go with large. And when this timer expires, what do you want to have happen? You can show a message or you could redirect. So this might be a good place to redirect to your shop store, or you're probably most likely just going to dis disable this hold page anyway. So this might not be needed. We also have templates here if you want to change the style of this. So you can see the corners, your circles. This is pretty simple. And then the circles with no background. I'll go with the circle ones here. And then under advanced, we have topography, different colors, label colors shadow spacing attributes etc you might also want to capture email so under advanced here we have the opt-in form you could put this in here and edit this i'll hide the name and you could change the submit button text here to notify me when ready and again you could change all of the settings here for the colors the text all of that we have the templates here so you could pick a random one uh, maybe i'll go with this dark one kind of looks good with the background and now that i look at it i don't like this little piece here so i'll just delete that and it's nice and quick and easy and we can go ahead and save this page so now that we have an opt-in box here to collect emails if you come up to the top you'll see design that's where we are now we also have connect and page settings if you come under connect you can actually connect that opt-in box with your favorite third-party email marketing service so for example if you want to use constant contact you can sign up for an account with them and then come back in here click connect new account and add your api key in here and now that's usually pretty easy to find. If you can't find it, check out their documentation or contact their support to get that API key and then just paste it in here and connect it. Next, we only want to show the maintenance mode on specific shop pages. We don't want it for the whole website. So we can come under page settings here and we have access control right here. And if we scroll down here, we can actually include URLs or exclude. So if we click on include URLs, now we have a box here where we can actually paste the URLs of our website where we want our maintenance mode page to be displayed on. So what I'm going to do is paste my URL in here and some of the pages that we want. There's quite a few of them, not too much. I'll just take this and I'll drag this down so we can see a little bit better. So I know one of the first ones is shop. And if you actually want a better list, I'll type them out here. But if you click the link in the description below, there's an article in the description below that actually has the steps for this video as well along with these URLs to help you. Another one is cart. We're also going to do checkout. Uh, we also want this page to be shown on my account. We're also going to do product and we're going to do a forward slash with an asterisk. And this is going to be applied to every page that includes the product in the URL. We also have product category. We'll put an asterisk on that as well. And I believe we have one more here which is product tag. So now all of these pages will be hidden as soon as we activate the maintenance mode page. We actually haven't activated it yet. I'll show you how to do that as well. So the next thing we want to do though is save this and we can go ahead and publish our page. So we can click down here and click on publish. Now we can see the live page and there we go. This is what our maintenance mode page will look like. If we come back, we can exit the seed prod page builder. And if you come back to seed prod landing page, we can see where we started on the maintenance mode. We can actually toggle if it's inactive or active. So right now it's inactive. So if we go and check out, we have our front page and then we have our shop page as well, our store page. So this page should be fine. And then our shop page is the page or one of the pages that should be hidden by the maintenance mode. So let's go ahead and activate this. 
and now you'll see this bar at the top that says we're in maintenance mode now i just want to point out that you have to be logged out for this to work so if i refresh since we're logged into our website we actually can't see this so let's go ahead and we can log out and then we'll come back to that shop page. So I'll type in slash shop. And now you'll see this maintenance mode page. And if I refresh the front page, I'm logged out, but you can still see the page here. So again, we have the links in the menu here. All of our shops should be included with the product pages and the cart and the my account. All of that should be protected now and hidden by the maintenance mode in Cprod. And of course, if you want to turn that mode off, you can log back into your website here. So let me just refresh and I'll log back in. And when we come back, you can just simply turn this off and all of your pages should now be open and working again. Now that you know how to put WooCommerce in maintenance mode, maybe you'd be interested in how to create a blog page on WordPress using Seedprod's drag and drop theme builder to fully customize it however you wish. Or check out this video on how to activate WooCommerce blocks in Seedprod to start creating incredible online stores. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.